Hello, today we're gonna talk about the Canon lens EF 85mm f1.8 USM. This is a Canon lens made for the full frame Canon DSLRs. It's a fixed uh, focal length, but it can uh, work also on uh, crop sensors on APAC, where its equivalence is 137 millimeters. So, uh, a little about this lens, it's uh, made of plastic, uh, good quality plastic. You don't have a red ring, but you do have a gold ring. Uh, it does have a metal mount, uh, no weather sealing there. Uh, it does feature a 58 millimeters um, filter thread. Uh, there is no image stabilization inside this lens. The manual focus, autofocus uh, switch, uh, it's, it's pretty good, not too stiff, not too loose. Uh, about the focus ring, it, it tends to be a little wobbly, especially uh, on the um, uh, near focus uh, end, as you can see. Uh, if you move it to infinity, it's less wobble, but still there. Uh, while you turn the, the focus ring, which is not very long, let's see, it's about a quarter of the full length. Um, it's not very noisy, but you do hear a little whooshy here and there. And um, let's see, as I said, it does have a 58 millimeter, so a small uh, filter size. Um, let's see, so the, the length of this length is 62 millimeters, uh, the maximum uh, width 75 millimeters. It's not too heavy, but not very light also, so it's uh, 425 grams. Uh, the, the autofocus. It's, it's very fast on this lens, so in, uh, in, much, in, in many respects it's, a, it's a, a better lens than a 85mm um, with a wider aperture, although it does have uh, 1.8. Uh, why is that? Because um, having a, a, a smaller glass to, to move around uh, makes the, the, the autofocus uh, much faster than, let's say, uh, 1.4 or 1.2. Uh, it's also um, also pretty sharp, very sharp, and pretty sharp starting from uh, wide open. Um, the, the, the ultrasonic motor is, is quiet and fast indeed. Uh, again, as I mentioned, there is no, um, no image stabilization on this one. Uh, about the construction, this is made of uh, nine lenses um, in uh, uh, seven groups and uh, about the, the, the diaphragm, it's made of eight diaphragm blades. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, you can use it, as I said, this is designed for full frame cameras. Uh, full frame Canon uh, DSLRs, so EF mount. It can work, as I said, on EFS crop sensor uh, where we, it will act as a 137 millimeters. But uh, you can uh, use it also on the mirrorless uh, Canon mirrorless uh, R mount, um, like the RP or the R, using that um, EF to R adapter. Now, um, look at this very wide uh, back of the lens. This looks fantastic. Uh, so, we're gonna get today this lens through the testing of the sharpness. And uh, in the end, we'll, uh, we'll try to, to come up with a conclusion um, about this lens. So. So let's see the sharpness, start from f1.8, we see very good sharpness in the center, in the corners, 
uh, we can see that it's really not in focus it's too shallow and we're not straight on the bookshelves at f2 again very very good sharpness in the center at f2.8 so as we can see that the, the sharpness is pretty good almost from uh, f1.8 but uh, up to uh, 2.8 um, the, the the plane which is not um, perpendicular to the, the uh, to the eyesight of the lens um, makes those corners uh, out of focus uh, as uh, we can see from f4 uh, it's top sharp so f5.6 f8 f11 they're pretty much all the same um, I cannot yet see the um, diffraction of f11 but at uh, f16 now we do see that it gets um, it gets a little soft and uh, finally let's see at f22 <coughs> yeah the, the the diffraction really kicks in and we, we get softer images so uh, as a conclusion great sharpness uh, as a conclusion this is a very good uh, lens very handy um, you can use it uh, this is designed specially for portraits but uh, you can uh, use it very good very well um, outside anywhere outside so uh, not uh, really indoors but uh, this is fast this is good quality optics and uh, the bokeh the bokeh you get with this lens is very good yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh, review uh, don't forget if you like these videos i'm producing don't forget to subscribe click that bell uh, button to get all the notifications until uh, next time bye bye